like to tell you folks about this uh, fellow who fell off a ship, a big ocean liner outside of Tahiti, a little ways, and uh, he was really drunk, of course, and it was in the middle of the night, and nobody missed him. And there's a jillion little islands, you know. There's also a jillion sharks out there, and he was so fortunate that no sharks got him until he washed up on this little island. And there he was, uh, alone. He found out very soon on a very, very small island. There was no food or water. But there were some berries on a bush. That was it. So he picked off the berries and ate those, and they sustained him, gave him a little water. And a little food value there. It lasted a couple of days, and he knew on the third day that he was a goner. That's going to be it. When he picked the last berry, he was damn sure of it. So now he's sitting on the third day, he's sitting on the sand with his feet in the ocean. And this is it. Unless a miracle happens. And he's looking out of the horizon of the water. And uh, anyway, he's sitting there with his feet in the ocean, and his butt on the sand. And he's looking out, and here comes a uh, bobbing, something black bobbing up and down. Keep getting closer to it. Just keeps getting closer. Oh, gee, this could be the miracle. As he gets, as it gets closer, he sees that it's a woman, blonde lady, on a raft, sitting on a raft. She's got a black wetsuit on, and there's a lot of pockets on it with zippers, the tops of the pockets, all. Over. And as she gets closer, she walks right off the raft and walks right up to him. She says, you poor man, how long have you been here? He said, a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted sympathy. You don't blame me for that, eh? She said, you poor thing. She said, I'll bet you could sure use a smoke. Oh, he said, my God, you hit the nail on the head. Oh, what I'd give for just one big drag off a cigarette. She said, they will fix that right up. <laughs> So she pulled out the widest pack of cigarettes <laughs> and a huge table lighter <laughs> and lit him a cigarette and handed it to him and he went, oh my God, he said, that's heavenly. She said, I'll bet you could use a drink too. Oh, he said, my God, what I'd give for a double shot of bourbon. She said, isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> so he pulled out a long, thin flask <laughs> with a tiny cap, but it was that long. Poured it full. A good double shot. And he went, oh, God, he said, that's good. Hmm. She said, I'll bet it's been a while since you played around. He said, don't tell me you got a set of golf clubs in that damn suit. <laughs>